What's good with it, ladies and gentlemen? Big Gooch Soldier Cat back here once again. How's the wife? Has kids? Great, perfect, amazing. Today, we're going to be checking out the worst YouTuber. Now, to be hated on the internet is no easy task, okay? Trust me, I know from experience. You got to damn near engage in felonious activities to even get the shot at being an internet villain, okay? You guys got to understand, hating is not an easy task, okay? That shit consumes and burns a lot of calories. As a certified hating specialist myself, okay, I know what it takes to be a true hater, and trust me, it's not an easy life, okay? The hating life is not for everybody. Let me just put that out there. This young man by the name of Jack De Ho Do whatever his name is, uh, I haven't heard that much about him. I don't know too much about who he is. Anyways, we're going to get into this. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe if you have not done so already. New merch is in the description. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Support a brother, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get into it. Jack Doherty is one of the most hated YouTubers on the platform, and Jeez. it's completely deserved. His what, endless what attempts at gaining views and subscribers has led him to engage in borderline activity from disrupting oh. local walmarts by shutting off the power that means aisle 14 aisle 16, I do, 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 do. Yo. to purposefully harassing How random the strangers on the street there? only to hide behind his bodyguard uh, how did he get back there uh -oh. what well probably what you gonna do what you gonna do <laughs> It might all be fun and games for now, but God Jack is damn, only one bro. reckless stunt away from oh landing himself God. in a potentially life-threatening so situation. And the worst part about it is that he isn't even aware of it. Most hated YouTubers on the platform, who honestly completely deserves all the hate he gets, Jack wow. Doherty. We'll be looking into how he became a millionaire at the age of 15, and the many controversies 15? that led him to become so hated. All had nothing good to say about their experience being around Jack Doherty for like the six hours we were there. Like, just by doing things that go against the social norm isn't inherently funny. You just look like a socially incompetent. Okay, I don't mean to be rude. This nigga look like one of them players that uh, dropped down in PUBG. Like, why Why you got the band? <laughs> why you got the glasses? In <laughs> Yo, like... You just look like a socially incompetent idiot. But I would argue that he hasn't matured a day since then. There is no way Jack looks like the cool kid in any of this. He might be one of the biggest losers I've ever seen. While Jack's online persona Damn, didn't always really run popular. on outrage and controversy, there was always an element of light-hearted trolling and a keen eye for viral moments as seen with his first few uploads. After creating his YouTube channel on the 15th of July 2016, Jack focused mainly on prank call videos and marker flipping videos, one of which showcased his propensity to engage with strangers for content, and the other showcased his ability to spot viral trends. Ooh. Jack's first video to surpass a million views came in November of the same year and was tied Trick or treating the day after Halloween. I'm gonna go to like five houses or so because I don't want to get in trouble. Or Damn, anything, he's or a or kid. Look bad, you know. Despite he's the video kid. seeming a bit unusual, the audience seemed to enjoy Jack's unique spin How on traditional prank nigga, content, man? and the views would reflect that. With the video going on to gain over 3.9 million views, wow. a very remarkable achievement for a 13 year old with no experience in video production. Jeez. But this was only the beginning of a very successful career on YouTube. By late November, Jack reached a 1,000 subscriber milestone, and by the 17th of January 2017, Jack would create the most viewed video on his channel, titled I Flipped All of These, which racked up an astonishing 29 million views. God! Yeah! And this little nigga just flipping shit? He's just flipping bottles? God damn it, bro! God! This nigga, this little nigga is flipping crayons? and water bottles and markers and he got damn near 30 million views what the f what the fuck am i doing wrong like yo guys what am i doing wrong you know how long i've been doing this shit what do i gotta flip what do i gotta flip do i gotta start flipping shit what do i gotta start what do i gotta flip what do i do i gotta start flipping shit to get 30 million views too what do i gotta do do i gotta start flipping shit to look I'm flipping shit too. Do I gotta start flipping shit? Do I got what do I gotta flip? What do I gotta do I gotta start flipping shit too? Like what do I gotta do? That's insane. Anyways, let's continue. I've account from 1,000 subscribers to over 10,000 in less than a week. Yeah, I've gained over a thousand subscribers today, which is like 
freaking insane. Like it's like twelve hundred or something already, and it's only three o'clock. He's a so little jit In twelve too, bro. hours, I got like thousand of subscribers. Cause from two thirty in the morning when I hit ten k to two thirty right now, I'm about to hit eleven k. That's pretty insane. Just one month God later, damn. a young and inexperienced Jack would go from ten thousand to one hundred thousand subscribers. While Jack had attained success on YouTube that he only could have dreamed of when he started, he knew he had to keep his content fresh to maintain that success. So with that in mind, he began hopping on viral trends, such as the fidget spinner trend and the trampoline trick video trend. Jack's instincts for spotting popular trends and diversifying his content allowed hey, him to sustain his success. It to but it was he's the smart. push for public stunts he's that truly kid. gave him the edge he needed. Uploads like his flips for a kiss at the mall and fake falling in public, which gained 10 and 2.4 million views respectively, are key examples what of Jack's willingness to participate in more outgoing wrong? content. However, it was his video titled Trying Not to Get Kicked Out of Walmart Spilled Paint that truly set the precedent for wild antics that Jack is now known for. The oh video God. starts with Jack and a few of his friends making their way to the Walmart. Upon arrival, Jack announces their intention to participate in some quote shenanigans. Unquote. Shenanigans? Guys, so Michael Lezzi. Um, yeah, um, we're uh, here at Walmart and everything. Yeah, so we're just gonna be like doing some sh like shenanigans in Walmart, guys. What followed was Jack and his <laughs> buddies fooling around with various products and going into places they shouldn't be entering. I'm in here. Jack's Walmart tomfoolery netted him 3 million views. Wow. And since there were no consequences, it gave him the confidence to continue with his type of behavior oh into the future. God. Uploads like Flora's Lava Challenge at Walmart, kicked out, and Singing Despacito on the Walmart intercom, kicked out, had over 10 million views each <laughs> and signaled Singing to Jack Despacito? that more pranks or more challenges meant more views and subscribers. A dynamic that would feed into a cycle of increasing extreme acts for the sake of subscriber growth. Speaking of which, so so it's very simple guys let me just break it down to you the more dumb shit you do on the internet the more subscribers and viewers you get now it wasn't always this way okay it used to be back in the day it used to be like okay you had to be actually funny or talented you had to be something of potential nowadays it's like you just go and make an ass of yourself in the middle of a walmart post it to the internet go viral and now all of a sudden you have a career this is the formula Okay, this is the formula, and listen, I'm not mad at this little stooge for taking advantage of that. Me, personally, I don't want to add more charges to my criminal record already, so, like, I don't do that. I stay in this room, and I record videos, and I'm, and I'm happy with doing that, okay? I'm happy with doing that. Jack would reach the 1 million subscriber milestone on the 2nd of January 2018. That's crazy. <laughs> Within, like, two years. Why is everyone doing this? That's oh my God, look at that. Within just two years of being on the platform, Jack had grown from nothing to over 1 million subscribers with several popular uploads. Jeez. However, as he grew, Jack acquired a need to disregard public spaces and people for personal gain. He went from shyly going door to door asking for candy a day after Halloween to trashing Walmart with his friend. Sadly, messing up a few store shelves was only the start of Jack's time as a public nuisance. In February of 2018, Jack's trend writing led him to start uploading Fortnite related content. This new format granted Jack moderate success, but that wasn't enough. So Jack came up with the brilliant idea to add his usual trolling antics into the mix and targeted the most popular Fortnite streamer at the time, Ninja. Uh -oh. On the 7th of March 2018, uh, what? What Jack published a video titled Trolling do? Ninja on Twitch, $1,000 Donation, in do? which he tried to get a reaction out of Ninja by repeatedly sending donations with annoying messages. Oh, sorry, dude. I've donated $240 from so far. Still $200 at a time. Since you won't call me dad i'll call you my dad dad you better play with me after this one hey i don't need you a hundred dollars hey, ninja you better respond they're hurting dude i don't know like if you live under a rock man it's okay but i don't play with people that donate man if that's your intention <laughs> i apologize oh, man, well. but i'm not gonna play with you because you're donating money he's me at this point, Ninja was fed up with the trolling and decided it would be best to refund the donations, which is exactly oh. what Jack wanted. Oh, he's wow. He's asking me to have, like, react and call me his daddy and shit and for like a YouTube video. And now he's asking to play. Oh, here's another hundred. We better play. So I just blocked his email and now I'm refunding him because he's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> that was my goal, just to annoy him. Given how deliberate- So he won! This little nigga, man! This little nigga, bro! 
He's an asshole. I got to give it to him. That was smart. That was smart. He got a full refund on a product he already bought. Oh my God, bro. Goaded Ninja into responding negatively, you'd think he'd recognize that he was in the wrong, but that was far from the truth. Later that month on the 30th of March, 2018, Jack revisited the situation, this time posting an exposed video on Ninja, claiming that he was in the wrong for refunding the donations and requesting that the video be taken down. He DM'd me on Twitter like a week ago or two weeks ago, something like that, I'm not too sure. He goes, hey man, I refunded all your donations when you did that video and also never gave you permission to use my content or any of my vids. Sorry, I use your vids, not your VODs. You can't take down my video because I never use any of your VODs, bro. Just saying. Please remove the video in the next couple of days or I will report it. You're just annoying. You just want everybody's money. Dude, I'm 14 years old. Chill, lol. Mr. Beast made a vid donating to you and you were fine with it. Why can't I do it? The vid has one mil and it's helping the both of us. Bro, I don't like how niggas be using their age as an excuse. Like, yo, man, I'm just 14 years old, but like, I strangled a cat, but like, I'm just 14, man. Like, it's not really a big deal. It's like, no, you don't get that excuse. You don't get the excuse for being an because you're young. I don't know when that became a thing. Okay, but we gotta stop that. There's definitely people that subscribe to him from that from that video as well. I don't understand. Like, he just cares more about the money than the followers and the subscribers and anything else. Anything that has to do with money, he cares about more than the fans and all the important stuff, literally. Remove it in the next eight hours or strike. He's just really weird. Like, he's just, like, being sarcastic and stuff like that. I can just tell. There was I, one I thing for Jack to feel entitled to a reaction from the Fortnite streamer. But for him to assume the video was somehow helping Ninja was a completely different story. Naturally, Jack wasn't satisfied with the situation and tried to pull the same stunt again, this time with again? Ninja's charity stream in August, but to no avail. The entire him? situation did two things to Jack. One, it rightfully gave Jack the label of a clout chaser, trying to use the name of a bigger creator for views and recognition. Two, it taught him that getting rage fuel reactions from people would lead to more views. Chasing ah, ever-growing so view fun. counts and subscribers was the so only thing on Jack's sense. mind, and he didn't care how he got it. In the following months, Jack got himself into all kinds of trouble for the sole purpose of just getting higher engagement. From falling around in every Walmart he set foot in. Okay, ready, guys? Ready, boy? Uh oh. Get out the store. What? I'm oh, sorry, I was just playing around. Can you finally go to Puberty? We need to get out the okay, store. Okay, 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 yeah, you probably to get out allegedly the store, getting involved racist. in an FBI investigation what for Zoom booming school classes, which essentially means hacking and disrupting a Zoom meeting. Him along with another juvenile is on there giving him <laughs> a juvenile that he in the Madison classroom, and that's why Madison public schools had to shut down the use of Zoom. For Madison? Yes. I don't know if you got the update yesterday. They're no longer. I got Wait, the these guys are FBI agents? Because a video. What? And the video bombing was from his associate on YouTube. He even got arrested for pretending to be intoxicated in front of police officers. Oh my While all God. these incidents are troubling in their own right, the one this that stands up the most in Jack's long list of dangerous activities took place on the 22nd of November 2019, when he filmed himself taking his older brother's car for a joyride. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get my brother to get out of his room to know that I'm stealing his car. So I'm thinking either me or my dad or Jacob goes like bang in my brother's room and say, Jack, steal your car, Jack, steal your car, to get his attention or something. I'm just hoping something like that could happen so he runs out, and as soon as he runs that out, ain't he's going to take off down the road. Oh my gosh, that he's ain't look it, out, look dog. Out, look out. That ain't it, dog. Jackie! Oh, Hi, hell no. Hi, Mike. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. God damn it, Jack, that's a crime. That is a crime, Jack. What the f are you doing, Jack? God damn it, Jack! So he became the catalyst for Jack making an appearance on the Dr. Phil show the he following got a year, Dr. where Phil? he would be finally confronted about his reckless pranks. What the As you would expect, Jack wasn't open to the idea of changing his ways, and instead took every opportunity to disrespect both his father and Dr. Phil. Anyone watching the interview at the time I mean, could Dr. easily Phil conclude that Jack like was a clout hungry brat but, who know. disregarded any figure of authority that he came across, and this only further fueled the negative towards Jack's image, and subsequently bolstered his notoriety as more and more people began recognizing him. However, by early so 2021, the quick rise in recognition they're didn't seem to translate into, into viewership, as his average video views went from a million views per video to only a few hundred thousand. It was also around this time that Jack leaned into his more spoiled rich kid persona by flexing how much money he was making, oh. which may have put off the majority of his audience that preferred his trolling videos. Couple this with the fact that his channel was hacked in May of 2020 
one, put Jack at an all time low. Okay guys, so I'm throwing this clip in after I try to post this video because I want to let you know why I haven't posted this video yet because you're watching this video, you know my channel got hacked. But yeah, that's basically what this video is about. But I'm throwing this clip in here to say the reason I didn't upload this video earlier is because the hacker got a strike on my YouTube channel. I'll show you right now. Channel violations, active community guideline strike. It happened. I got yeah, the strike been there. to the live stream that the hacker put on my channel, as you can see right here. For some reason, YouTube rejected my appeal, even though I told him it was hacked, like the XRP thing, whatever, that's what hacked my channel. Yeah, I, ha I wasn't able to upload on my channel for a week because of that. A stagnating subscriber account, no trends to latch onto, mm. and a fresh track on his channel put Jack in a very uncomfortable position. He was in desperate need of a new strategy to revive his online career. Fortunately for what him, did did Jack like managed to find a strategy that worked well in terms of financial success. But it sadly did irreparable damage to his reputation and put him in several life-threatening situations. By January 2022, Jack made two major alterations to his online career. One, he created his own OF account while managing what various OF models. And two, he pivoted to producing what? more short-form content. At a first glance, this might not seem like much, but once you look a bit deeper, you'll start to see the bigger picture. Jack's move towards creating shorts and TikTok videos meant he didn't have to spend time going out to annoy people and instead focused on creating numerous bite-sized prank or skit videos. All right, Sam, if I'm in this bottle on the cap, you gotta give me a kiss on the lips, but if I miss, you get a hundred bucks. Deal? Fine. Let's go. Most of the shorts featured several f models that Jack managed, allowing him to then funnel Managed? traffic to their respective pages and boost revenue. In addition, both TikTok and YouTube were heavily pushing short form content, which only made it easier for Jack to reach more users. From March 2022 to December 2022, Jack's viewership on YouTube steadily grew to over 100 million views per month, and his TikTok damn. account reached over 4 million followers. God However, damn. this new direction in Jack's career didn't mean he had to abandon his old ways of wreaking havoc on Walmart stores. You ready? Oh, right here. I'm open. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Okay, ready? Oh, okay. Oh, dude, L throw. God, don't While 2022 them up the major, proved to be a very fortunate year for his career, 2023 saw Jack making some horrible decisions for the sake of clout. In early 2023, Jack's multi-million dollar home became the venue for various kick streamers and influencer parties. At first, it seemed like a good idea in terms of creating content oh, from the so ensuing this is where drama, everything but went things down. quickly became too hot for this Jack is to where handle. All this shit On went the 23rd down. of August 2023, Jack invited Neon, Fuzi, and the Island Boys over to his house in hopes of capturing viral moments oh. from the inevitable confrontations between them. Alright guys, so basically the Island Boys, Neon, and FoosyTube, they're all coming over. I bet hell's gonna break out and it's all gonna go terrible, but drop a like, subscribe if you're new because this is gonna be a crazy video. I can't imagine what's gonna go down. All I know is Neon says he's gonna go off on the Island Boys. A bunch of security guards are gonna be here and I don't know, it's just gonna get crazy. Like, I think everyone knows that, so. Jack, you know that this is not the right thing to do, man. You're damn near selling your soul here. Like, Jack, come on, Jack. Jack. I just hate to see a young man just fall into the abyss like this, man. Because in like a few years, when he grows up and he has a family and a wife and kids, he's going to look back on this and he's going to be like, damn, bro, why the f*** did I just like do all of that shit when I was young? Ru completely ruin my reputation. I hope like YouTube and content creation really works out for this young man. Because like if it doesn't, there's no way he's getting a job. Nobody's hiring this <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> First guest Fuzi arrived, so did the drama, as he would waste no time before antagonizing Jack for quote, faking his pranks, unquote. Fire, do you do real pranks or fake pranks? Be honest. Yeah, it depends on the They're fake as shit. Be honest. Own it. Video. You know, like uh, the, own it. Your pranks yeah, are fake. Real. Hey, I give away money to They're people. They're not real. real. They're fucking real. Giving away money hey. to people is real, but you tell them, hey, I'm going to uh -uh, do this and uh -uh. they give you money. Nah, we'll live stream it. Really? Yeah. Okay, but all your pranks are fake. Nah. Yeah, they are. Dep well, it depends Dep on the prank Didn't he fake the prank? Didn't he? That's the fakest shit ever. A skit? Yeah, guys. Hey, guys, it's a skit. I know she sucked my dick on camera, but it's a skit. Your pranks are fake. I had enough balls to say it. You're 19. Own your shit. I said some of them are, some of them aren't. No, which ones are real? Show me a real prank right now. Not one they get my money. Prank. It's not that deep. It is that deep, because you're trying to stand on something that's not true. You're trying to build no, your business. No, I told you a, how it you're is. You're trying to build your business on a lie. Fuck your Lamborghini, fuck your McLaren, you're a liar. Yo, that was the craziest switch up I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, but yeah, from like good shit to I'm fuck you. you. Yeah, meet the legend. Facts, all right, I like that, whatever. Okay. One by one, the other guests is he drinking arrived, and as their numbers rose, so did the tension between them. Oh, Neil, you're a bitch, bro. To my face, you're a bitch. 
this. My face, pussy. I'm in his house telling him. Yo, they're on the fucking island boy side. He wants to kiss them. You. Calm down, yo. You. Who watches this shit? Who watches this shit? Ask him what happened between. People actually watch this. What's up? Wait. They're good, they're good, they're good. That was so, like, I, oh, man. That was so pathetic. Holy shit. <laughs> that, that was like two kids in preschool. That was like two four-year-olds getting into an argument over the crayons. And then the preschool teacher's like, no, Maddie, Matthew, Maddie, and Eli, stop. Break it up, break it up. <laughs> Alright, take a change. Not long after things reached their breaking point, and Jack got a surprise he wasn't ready for. No, we can't bust. There's a hole. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, I slapped oh my the God! God. That didn't even hurt. I slapped the dog out of you. You punched like a bitch. I, I it. Hit him back. Events that transpired that night were unexpected, but they ended up working in Jack's favor as the video featuring Fousey racked up an astonishing 3.9 million views. What the this fuck opened Jack's am I doing eyes to just how much he had to gain from kick streamers. And with that in mind, he decided to join the platform himself to reap the benefits. There was a growing market of people who were very interested in watching heated situations like this unfold, and Jack was willing to give the people what they wanted. A few days later, Jack went live on kick to recreate what happened with Fousey and achieved a similar result. Oh, oh, hey, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa. Oh, you oh. Whoa. You're next though, once I drop oh. it. <laughs> Zerko won't leave my house. Come on, you're watching. McKinley's literally in my room in the shower and Zerko just snuck in my room somehow. I don't know how he got into the passcode lock. Look at this dog shit, motherfucker. He's foosy. He ripped my sign down, guys. Look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Things would have been fine restricted these insane confrontations to the realms of his own home. But Jack wanted to Is know just how far he could push the envelope. The By the end of September 2023, Jack tried his hand at IRL streaming on kick with a personal bodyguard. The streams would range from harassing more cops to intentionally pushing random people on the street. That is so... That is so... Jack even Bro. got his security involved in a confrontation that ended with a random party goer getting knocked out. Oh shit! Oh shit! God damn! Everywhere Jack went, trouble and controversy were sure to follow. However, Read him when a things did story. get too heated, Jack would quickly cower behind his bodyguard. But sometimes that wasn't enough. I didn't say any curse words. What'd I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirt, your kids can't read, though. What are you talking about? Your kids can't read. Your kids can't, can't read, though? I'm <laughs> sure your kids watch. Uh, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Nah. Watch your pushy. kids. Go wa walk away. Yo, so, what's nah. you, oh, my God. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, my God. 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 Back up, back up. What the fuck's your problem? Nah, he deserves that. Jack was that. pushing his but luck too far. That. And if he wasn't careful, he wouldn't be the only one that would get hurt. Imagine if bro pulled out, like, a weapon instead of just punching him across the face. Nah, you gotta be careful, dog. I feel like this nigga will be stupid enough one day. He'll be too much of a clout fiend that he'll do this shit in the hood one day and he'll just get like... He's gonna end up looking like Spongebob. They gotta light up his body. He's gonna end up having a hundred holes in his body like SpongeBob, man. Like, goddamn, bro. This nigga's gonna look like a DaBaby song. It's, it's, it'll be bad. It'll be bad. On the 11th of November, Jack would put his girlfriend in hospital after crashing a golf cart. Oh my god. Wow. Yo, one in the chat if I should crash. Ah. One in the chat if I should crash? Oh! Oh, shit! Antagonizing people, engaging in dangerous stunts, and generally being offensive towards others gave Jack two things he craved most in the world attention and money. It didn't matter if his childish antics resulted in the entire internet hating him, as long as it drove clicks and views to his channel. Fundamentally, Jack hasn't changed much compared to when he started YouTube. He's still simply jumping from one viral trend to another, acting immaturely, and trying to provoke innocent people for clout. Just like with Ninja back in 2018, Jack is doing everything and anything in his power to annoy the people around him for the sake of making content. The only difference is that the stakes back then were much lower. 
Back then, it was a kid throwing things around Walmart for attention. Now, he's pushing grown adults on the street and messing with police officers. Yeah. Considering how frequently Jack streams like this, it would only take one random person with an unusually high tendency towards violence to push Jack into a life or death situation. Somewhere down the line, Jack has to ask himself whether money and clouds are worth risking his safety for. I can see why uh, people don't like this guy uh, after watching all of that. That was a lot. Essentially, he's a clout whore, right? He's a clout demon. He's a clout warrior. There's many ways to put this, but all of them are bad. Um, when it comes to people like this, there really is no fixing them. I mean, like, you know, some people live their lives for the validation of others. And he just so happens to be one of those people. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, there's a lot of money and there's a lot of women and there's a lot of bitches, and there's a lot of cars that come with that. But at the end of the day, man, that couldn't be me. I have a life to live. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to go viral in the worst ways possible. And that might end with him getting like severely hurt, right? Because uh, a lot of people get severely hurt doing these things. At the end of the day, when it comes to people like this, they, they tend to have a spiritual awakening. You know, kind of like Jadeon. Now, I'm not saying he's going to go down the Christian route, but like eventually something is going to happen to this young man. And I don't mean to wish nothing bad upon him, but something is going to happen to this man, young man to where like he's going to wake up and he's going to be like, OK, this is not I can't do this no more. And when that happens, uh, I think the world will be a better place. There's a lot of bad things happening in the world. Not say that this this young man is like contributing to the world's demise or anything like that. But like him not doing a lot of this shit, I think would stop a lot of. Uh, it would definitely be uh, more beneficial to society for sure. The world is already a place. Okay, we don't need some some stupid YouTube geech coming along making it worse you know what i'm saying uh anyways so that was the most uh that was the worst youtuber jack De Ho jo i still don't know how to say his name make sure you guys comment down below uh what you hate about this guy if you hate him at all if you're a fan of him like, i can't i don't know how you live with yourself but like you know that's just how i look at it but like let comment down below uh what about this do you think is the worst part about him also uh like the video okay some of you guys are not liking the video some of you guys are not subbing the channel and i see that Okay, I see that. So make sure you guys like the video, sub the channel. We just hit 30k subscribers, man! Good shit, my boys, good shit. So make sure you guys sub the channel. Let's get to 50,000 subscribers as fast as we possibly can, okay? Let's try to get this channel surpassed the, the main channel, okay? That's the idea. So make sure you guys sub the channel, like the video if you have not liked the video. Give me some suggestions in the comments, what other stuff you'd like me to react to, because uh, you know I have no life. Okay, I don't, I don't be doing, I, I don't go outside, I don't be doing shit, I have no life. So you guys let me know anything else that you guys would like me to react to. And with all that being said, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. See just how I'm coming, yeah, I did this on my own. Don't you tell me something, cause I did it all alone. You ain't helping nothing, no, na na. You ain't helping nothing, no, na na. Came up from the guys and niggas show me some respect. Niggas mad cause I ain't break them off on all these checks. You ain't help with nothing, no, na na. You ain't help with nothing, no, na na.